All right, my name is Sean. I'm a pin setter mechanic. I'm certified to work on Brunswick A82 and Jetback pin setters. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on the adjustments with number 29, the ball accelerator adjustment. Um, so the point of this, of this adjustment is to make sure that your accelerator sends balls back up front effectively uh, and make sure that the belt has proper tension and that it is positioned properly onto the pulleys. So, uh, I am not going to be touching my accelerator because I know that the accelerator works just fine on here. But I will be doing uh, another one of those just point and tell you kind of videos. I don't like doing them, but if I don't need to mess with my stuff or in a lot of the cases that I couldn't uh, I don't really want to because I don't want to I don't want to accidentally cause problems for me and like oh I didn't do it right so then I am stuck with a faulty accelerator or something like that so I know it works so I'm just gonna basically point you in the right direction and that should be able to help you anyways so let's get started so the first part of this is like if you need to change out the belt so yeah if you need to change out the belt then listen to it all the way through if not then you can kind of skip ahead and find where you need to be for like the adjustment and stuff like that but anyways so the first thing what you're going to do is you're going to loosen your three nuts back here so the two on the top one on the side and then you're going to loosen your tension screw which is this right here after you do that you're going to remove and install the new belt because that should be able to have enough slop to put everything back on and out. Okay, so this, so after you get the pulley on, the belt on, I don't like how it, the book words it. So viewing the machine from the rear, viewing the accelerator from the rear of the machine, so from the back end, looking forward, says you're gonna locate the belt one inch from the right side here. So right there should be an inch. Um, that one's not an inch. That one's not an inch. That one also is not an inch. I don't know what they're saying. An inch from the right side, I don't know if that's just ours that are fucked up. If that's the case, then please let me know. But for us, it's it seems like it's an inch from the left side of the machine the left machine so the odd lane i mean sorry the even lane not the odd lane like i said fine is messed up then please let me know and then i'll end up doing everything i'll do all this to every single one and then it says basically just to kind of rotate the pulleys and get everything lined up in the front basically the same thing you have it in the rear once you have everything on you're gonna pull on this pulley back as far as you can and then hand tighten the tension screw. Once you have your tension screw tight, tightened by hand, they tell you to go ahead and snug up the three bolts on the back. And then they tell you to go ahead and tighten it with a wrench, tighten up your tension screw until the belt is level yeah until the belt is level front to back and then go ahead and turn see this is where i'm confused it says to do four more turns into the tension screw you know is it quarter turns half turns three quarter turns full turns once you get that all done and then you're gonna go ahead and tighten up your your uh rear things completely and then go ahead and start it let the accelerator run through and then you're gonna go ahead and uh send a ball so it says right here it says start the accelerator and run no ball uh check the check the belt tracking maximum permissible belt wobble is an eighth inch okay belt should run one inch from the edge of the pulley if not loosen the lock nuts Holding the rear pull, uh, blah, 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 blah. rear bearing assembly, loosen the jam nut and accelerator. 
accelerator screw and move set screw. Once you have your belt changed out if you need it, and then it's adjusted and it's running right, this, that, and the other. So the next thing you're going to be doing, this is going to be doing the the belt for the motor that is uh, up front on the accelerator. The motor is to be <laughs> the motor is to be mounted with mounting bolts. No shit. Just the motor belt. By moving the motor or adding shims under the motor base as required to make the motor belt track 3 16 from the edge of the motor pulley and 3 16 from the edge of the accelerator pulley. So, I don't know what they're talking about. So, go ahead and uh, if you want to do that, go ahead. I mean, you can move the motor up and down onto the mounting plate um, and then of course you can move the pulley on the shaft here um, now when it says I don't understand how moving this back and forward or adding shims is going to make the belt move side to side but uh, who knows it could <laughs> Uh, mine of they're all over the place. They all work fine. They're great Some of them are on the edge. Some of them are 3 16 from the edge. Some are a quarter from the edge, you know So it's all worked out. It's all worked out in the end, and I don't know Yeah, like I said before all these adjustments are for new parts and new shit. I Don't have new shit now once you get your belt sitting 3 16 or at least running consistently on the accelerator pulley and the motor pulley without uh, flying off well now you're going to run a ball through it and that is going to deter that's going to be the ultimate test to determine whether everything you did was worth the shit or not so it says on here number one Run a drilled ball through the accelerator and observe the belt movement. Here's the allow the allowable belt movement for a used belt is a quarter inch. And I'm assuming when they say that, they mean side to side. So you only allowed side to side movement of quarter inch when a belt goes through. Uh, with a new one, it's quarter, it's a sixteenth to a quarter. Toward the motor belt. Okay. Step two. Adjust if necessary. See you in a sentence. <laughs> uh, if you if you need to adjust it, go ahead and check some set screws, making sure everything sits up against the frame uh, with uh, the jam nuts tightened. Uh, check all the bearing lock nuts and recheck accelerator mounting on kickbacks now for me I know there is one there's one accelerator that I'll need to mess with and that's 17 and 18 uh, it just seems like whenever a ball goes through the accelerator jumps up so uh, what I was gonna try is by adding some washers to the mounting uh, put the fucking the mount the rubber mounts on the accelerator is going to try and add some to kind of lift it up from the pan to the pulley so that way it's not jumping the accelerator up because I've been having some of them that get caught at the Y and a lot of it's because they don't go through because the accelerator seems like it's sitting too low but that's the only one that I've had to fuck with or have to fuck with. I had to do 29 and 30s. I had to do 29 and 30s not too long ago because the mounts on the back wore out. So then I ended up having to, every time that you would step on the front of the accelerator, it would fucking raise up on the back. And it'd be scarier when you're scary when you're trying to step down onto the deck light. So had to replace the mounts on those and 
the mounts and the mounts aren't uh, ain't nothing special the mounts are the same as uh, the shaker board mounts just that rubber with the two threaded ends and uh, they're a pain in the ass because you have to be able to lift up the accelerator unscrew the mount from the kick bag and then go ahead and screw it in and line it up with everything it's just it's a pain in the ass but i had to do it so did that um anyway this is the end of the adjustment i i don't know how many people are gonna have to do this adjustment because me personally i've never had to mess with the adjustment it's always been like the accelerator like mounting that i've had to mess with not necessarily the belt or the pulleys or anything like that but uh if you have to mess with it then i hope that this has helped point you in the right direction at least because i know that i did not turn wrenches on it because i don't want to accidentally put something in the wrong place when i know that it runs pretty good right now so anyways into the adjustment uh if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you like sharing the video then that'd be cool uh, and then i will see you in the next video bye